What's going on, everybody? One thing y'all gotta realize about me, I really don't go off the script. I go off script, but I don't have a script that I go by. I just talk. You understand? The Holy Spirit let me know what to talk about. I gotta trust it. You understand? Whatever it compares me to talk about, I'm gonna talk about. Well, right now I'm talking about what can destroy your home, how to keep your home safe. You know, a lot of times you fight the same demons because you keep letting the same demon in. Been there, done that. You keep fighting the same old demon. But that demon comes talking nice. I'm going to be different this time. And then they in there. <laughs> you thought I was going to be different. I tricked you. The Bible says, let your yes be yes and your no be no. And some people have a track record. And their track record ain't good. Unless you know for a fact they didn't gave their life over to God and they just changing up and they trying to do better for real. But some people ain't. They're going to lean on that fact that you're a good person, a good kind-hearted person. They're going to lean on that fact and they're going to use it to their advantage. They don't care what to get into your house. You understand? I love to help folks. You're supposed to. But sometimes I hate to help some people. It is what it is. You know, like, yeah, I leave, man. Every time I let you in, I got to kick you out. I got to go through this same battle again. Now I got to pray through the house for three days after you leave. Because some people get in, they don't want to leave. You think that devil wants to leave your house? He don't. That's why you got to grow strong in faith. And God's going to let you kick out any devil, any demon. You know, doing my walk as, as a Christian, you know, I believe a lot of battles I was meant to go through. And my unwanted house guests. You know, even when I was doing going through phases when I had unwanted house guests, I still had to do the Lord's work at the same time and worry about my house. I, one thing you hate to do is worry about what's going on at your house when you ain't there. You understand? Just be careful, people. That's all I'm trying to tell you today. Stay prayed up. Be careful who you let in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you. Man, I, didn't, I went through a separation today, this year, man, and a, you all just be surprised about how many people are trying to get back into my life. Especially women, people of the opposite sex. Like, hey. You know we meant to be, oh shoot, no. I know your story, I know your scheme, Satan. I know once I get you in here, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> no, I'm just being careful. I'm just telling y'all, man, just out of experience. The only thing I can tell you is from what I've been through. And from what the Bible shows that his disciples have been through. But some things you are meant to go through. That's the thing, people. Sometimes you... I, now, come on now. Sometimes you got to let that person that's lost in to show them what it's like, the Christ lifestyle. And if they're not willing to come along for the ride, you got to remove them from your life. Or you, you ain't got to worry about that God will. But sometimes this is, it's a trial and error thing. Until you get it right. You understand? The disciples had to walk for years and years. Like he told uh, Peter. I use this line all the time. Hey, hey, Peter, what's up? What's going on? Satan has desired to sift you like we. Hmm? Don't worry, but I have prayed for you. And when you are converted, strengthen the brethren. Basically, hey, 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 Peter. Satan is going to be on you like white on rice. But once you got strong enough, once you done been through some things better, you're going to bring a lot of people to me. And that's what I'm telling you right now. If you done been through some things, you're going to do a lot for the kingdom of God. Don't rush the process. Don't rush the process. You got to go through it. To fulfill your purpose and fulfill what God wants you to do. Yeah. Yeah, I gave you warnings. It's always warning before battles. This do you know that? You understand? I'm telling you, people come in sweet. Right as sheep clothing. You understand? Come in nice as they can be. And then when they two colors start showing you, like, what in the world have I done? <laughs> and then you realize hey, I, after so many trials and error you're like oh man 
Me personally, my biggest issue is trying to find love on a marital status. That's but that's one that's one thing I've been wanting since I was a kid. And I believe the enemy can use that. The fact that you want love so badly that you'll love the wrong person. You'll let the wrong person in. I'm trying to tell y'all some things right now. Don't be out there trying your best to find love. Let love find you. I'm telling you people. Because once you put that ring on, it's either going to work or it ain't. It's simple. It's either going to work or it ain't going to work. You understand? Trial and error, trial and error. You understand? I'm trying to tell y'all what I know. Tell me what you know. Come on. Tell me. I want it. You understand? Well, for real, don't let the enemy in. You know, it's natural to want love. It's natural to want to have a husband or a wife. That's natural. To draw to the opposite sex. That's part of what we're made for. You understand? But I'm telling you, you can let the wrong person in. And once you let the wrong person in, now you're married the wrong person. But you know what? God will bail you out. God knows your heart. He'll bail you out now. But you're going to learn in the process. <laughs> Don't expect no chastisement to happen. You're going to learn today. Learn. Take it. Take what God shows you through your trials and tribulation. Don't be surprised concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. But when you have tried, you will come forth as gold tried in a furnace or whatever. Man, you're going you're gonna to come by polish. You'll be like, oh, ha -ha, I'm good now. I done made it through. I done made it through all the trials and tribulation. The devil done tried me. He tried to sift me like wheat. But he couldn't sift me. He sifted the taft. For the wheel. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You be glorifying the Lord. That He's delivered you from this and that and that and that and that. And you're gonna be happy about it. Do you understand? Go through it. Don't get mad because of what you're going through. Rejoice, for your reward is great in heaven. When things are going real smooth for you, don't be too happy. <laughs> Do you hear me? Don't get too happy. They can change too. Stay prayed up in the good times and in the bad. Because you're going to have good times and there are going to be many bad times in your life. You know you know what the, the white picket fence Christian is looking for? Heaven. We know in this world we're never going to really have a white picket fence. That's with no problems, no worries, no nothing. Because as long as you're on this earth, you're going to have to work for the Lord. You're going to have to work to provide for your family. You're going to have to do a lot of things. This is not heaven. I don't care what you say. This ain't heaven. You got up to this morning to do, go, go make money. To provide for your household. Or something. This ain't heaven, buddy. This is a place to get there. It's the starting point. So Start. Start prepping your body and your soul now. And you need the Holy Ghost and you need God to do it. Have a blessed day, people. Take these messages that I'm giving you and run with them. Have a blessed one.